narcissists are cowards. You will probably never see the narcissist the same way after watching this video. When things go wrong, you have two choices. Here is the first one. You can stand up to the struggles of life. You can face the pain that you are experiencing head on. You might fall, but if that happens, you know that you will get back up and face the issue. That's your first option. And since you are watching my video, it is most likely that this is a, the choice that will resonate with you. Empaths or even codependents do not give up that easily. So here is the second choice you have when things go wrong. And you can be sure that this is the choice the narcissist will choose. They will create an alternate reality, a controlled environment. They will disguise themselves, create false personalities, and they will hide behind their mask. They will gaslight you and attempt to distort your perception of reality. This is the option the narcissist will mo most likely choose in any given situation. When life gets tough and they are faced with serious issues that have to be dealt with, they don't face it head on. They run from the re reality and truth of the situation. They create an alternate reality and put you in it. They create alternate rules and interpretations of everything. They put on different acts depending on the situation. Most often they are passive aggressive and quietly, quietly abusive towards you. Because there is a lot of hate, anger and envy boiling inside of them. But sometimes you will see their fake kind or empathic act. They try to appeal to your own ideals, mirror whatever it is that will attract you. Just so they can then bring their true narcissistic personality back and destroy whatever fantasy or illusion you had just created together. They use all kinds of manipulation tactics in a, a, an attempt to distort your perception of reality. They will use gaslighting, mind control, hypnosis and others. So what's all of this about? What is the purpose of this? And how are they running from serious issues? Well, by creating an alternate reality, they are running from the truth. They are running from the true reality of the situation. They cannot deal with it. They cannot face it head on. So they will spend the rest of their lives pretending as though there is no issue. They are not willing to take a stand for anything in life. And this basically proves it. By creating alternate rules, they are trying to gain an advantage over you. Their beliefs, values and principles will change depending on how they feel or what they desire. They will also retract their alternate rules at any given time to prevent you from doing the same thing. They will create alternate interpretations of everything you do. Whatever you are doing is bad or related to something bad. 
whatever it is that you're doing, they will always find a way to criticize it or link it to something else, reinterpreting it in a different way. When it comes to you, they are hypervigilant, hypersensitive, pessimistic, and paranoid. Because they cannot deal with the true reality of seeing you as the good person. You have to be seen as this evil, villain-like person. And the reason for this is because deep down, that's exactly how they feel about themselves. All of the abuse and manipulation distorting your reality, it has created a lot of deep-rooted shame within them. And this is just another example of how they run from serious issues. They never deal with their shame. They simply project it onto you. They live their lives doing whatever they can to avoid shame. So now you are the bad person in this situation. They might even call you the abuser. And this is all a, a part of their act, their game. They are playing a game because they cannot face the reality of the situation. They don't want to be real and genuine with you. It's too much work for the narcissist and they have no belief in themselves. They need an advantage. They need to be above you at any cost in order to win. They need to weaken you with gaslighting and manipulation. There will never be a fair fight with a narcissist because they already know if everything was fair, they could never win. And they already know what you are capable of. Your capabilities are far greater than theirs and they know it. That's why they use all of these cowardly tactics. It's an attempt to even the game. Narcissists have a handicap, an obstacle, a disadvantage. So they have to do whatever they can to create a controlled environment where they have the control. But take away their control and they have nothing. That's where their illusion of strength comes from. When you have real strength, which comes from within, you don't need any of that. But the narcissist does. They need their cowardly tactics and controlled environment because they have no real strength or self-belief and they know it. They knew this a long time ago so they had to prepare for their lack of real strength and self-belief. Narcissists are the ultimate cowards. They go into battle wearing body armor because they know that they are facing a true champion. And if you are facing a champion, you are going to need all of the help you can get. Cowardly tactics, alternate realities, alternate rules and interpretations, wearing a mask, controlled environments, fly monkeys, and smear campaigns. All of this bullshit should solidify the fact in your mind that you are dealing with the ultimate cowards because real champions do not need any of that. They face the situation head on and do whatever it is that is necessary to reach a resolution. But when you are dealing with narcissists, they won't do that 
because they need to have the upper hand at all times because they are weak cowards so they will wear their body armor but beneath that armor is a very weak scrawny little person with no backbone and no real strength they had to create the illusion of strength by using their body armor just as the narcissist creates their illusion of strength by using all of these cowardly tactics controlled environments fly monkeys and smear campaigns but once you cut through their body armor and expose their true weak scrawny physique they will bail on the fight they will bail on their false character and even the relationship because when it comes down to it they do not want to fight for anything they are going to do whatever it takes to avoid the fight and just manipulate and gaslight you instead they want you to see them as this tough powerful person and that is why they will wear the body armor But believe me, under that is a person with no backbone and no real strength. They are non-confrontational. They have no fight in them. They do not stand for anything in life. Though it seems they will fall for some ridiculous things. They run from serious issues. They don't want to deal with it because they don't believe they can deal with it not the right way at least if they really believed that they could deal with matters using the correct procedure which is an established or official way of resolving the situation believe me they would have done that by now but cowards do not follow an established or official procedure they make it up as it goes along whatever suits them whatever allows them to have the upper hand and the most control over the situation and this is why you should never take them seriously they are not official they are not established they are a joke and they will use any trick or stunt they can like a clown in a circus narcissists are weak people if they do not have an advantage in the situation they will give up and leave this is why they are so eager to learn everything about you without revealing anything about themselves they always have to know what you are doing where you are going and who you are with meanwhile they will never reveal any information about themselves and the irony is you will soon discover they are the ones that are breaking the rules they are the ones who are lying cheating or engaging in illegal activities yet they have to know what you are doing where you are going and who you are with why is this well the reason is because they are hyper vigilant and paranoid they know that they are willing to lie cheat and engage in illegal activities it's not even a question for them they will do it at the first opportunity so they assume that you are like them you are going to lie cheat or engage in illegal activities just as they do but the problem is their assumptions are based on their own hypervigilance and paranoia they don't realize that your mental composition is not the same as theirs so what do they do they use all of these cowardly tactics and create a controlled environment because they are the ultimate cowards so they will continue controlling everything you do manipulating you making you believe that they are doing nothing wrong meanwhile they will never take the situation seriously they will never face it using the correct procedure 
They will never deal with it using the correct, established and official method. And this is nothing new. This is what they have been doing their whole lives. Whenever a difficult situation comes up, this is what they do. But when you don't deal with a situation and face it in the correct way, you can never learn. You can never develop and you can never mature as a person. This is why they remain in this emotionally immature state. Using their little tactics and playing their little games. And this is why you will find that they are very weak emotionally. Most of their decisions and ideas are based off their weak and immature emotions. Emotions which they have never dealt with following whatever traumatic situation they have been through. They never dealt with that. Instead, they chose to project all their emotions onto you. The way that they are uh, obsessively trying to make you feel is often how they are supposed to be feeling. But like the emotionally immature children they are, they are not going to deal with their emotions. Instead, they are going to project them onto you like they always do. Because they see you as being more emotionally mature than them. They want you to play the parental role. They want you to wipe their tears and carry their emotional baggage for them. Narcissists are cowards. They are the ultimate joke. And honestly, it is hard not to laugh at the things they do and the mess they have made. You have only got to look around and remember how things used to be. Then you will see the effect of their cowardly ways and what, what they have had on your relationship, your life and even our society as a whole. And deep down they know they are cowards. That's the reason why they have all of these manipulative tactics. That's the reason why they have to control the environment and distort your reality. All of these cowardly behaviours cause them to feel a lot of shame, which they then project onto you. They feel shame in a way that they are bad people. I often wonder, do they ever consider what their parents would think of their cowardly behaviours? and manipulative tactics or their ancestors I know for sure if their ancestors were alive today they would be ashamed of what they have become and when their children grow up they are going to have to look back and deal with the consequences of their parents actions all of this abuse manipulation and reality distortion has an impact on their children and the environment. But as we already know, narcissists do not care about what happens to the future generations or even their own children. All they care about is right now. And right now they want what they want. And what they want is to take control of you and prevent any progress or success you might make or might as otherwise make if they weren't in your life but remember what separates these people from real champions or successful people is that they don't have to cheat lie or manipulate to get what they want they don't have to use cowly behaviours or control their environment. They don't even think about doing that because they already have the belief that they are champions and whatever happens, they are going to come out on top. Narcissists have a loser's mentality and that is why they will continue to use these cowly behaviours and control their environment.